Hey, so I, I guess this is a new format. You know what's new? Two new draw types for area lamps in both Cycles and Eevee. So this is not really completely related to the code quest itself, but it just landed now in Blender 2.8 and I just wanted to show you. Um, it's a new draw type, two new draw types that are part of the area lamps. So up until now, you could draw area lamps as rectangles or as in squares. So basically you will have the shape of the lamp to be a square, so completely perfect square, or you could change the dimensions, just make it a uh, rectangle. But now there are two more modes, which is the disc and the ellipse. So the disc is like a circle, basically. Um, we can see it, uh, let, let's see it in Eevee directly. So I'm gonna make my material a bit more um, metallic so we can actually see what's what's happening here. So, okay, got my lamp and let's see it from here. So I made this area lamp a disc. So if I make it smaller so we can see it more clearly, you would see that it's a perfect circle. And if I, let's put it aside, let's make another one. And if this one, I make it, for example, a square, you would see the difference. So there was really no way, you, you can tell the difference. Like this one is a perfect circle and this one is a um, square with the corners, with the fall off, it just looks a bit weird. But there was no way to achieve that perfect circle before. Uh, only with a point, but then you can't change the size really. So uh, that's the second type. Then we also have, for example, let's see the ellipse. So it's like a circle, but <laughs> stretched. It has two, um, it's very similar to the rectangle basically, but it's an actual, um, an actual ellipse. So you can put it there. And then let's make the other one since we're here and we can do it because it's real time, it's Eevee. And also cycles, it also works on cycles. Um, then you can see the difference between really having a, um, an actual ellipse and a ellipsish phase shape because of the way the rectangular um, works, the rectangular shape works. But I, I think it was pretty pretty cool. It's, just, it's not really part of the code quest itself. It was committed by Lucas Togner. It's, it was reviewed by yeah, the developers that are here, but it wasn't really directly uh, part of the code quest. But it's just so awesome that I wanted to, <laughs> to show you before actually going back home. <laughs> it's actually quite late. So um, I hope you like this kind of format. It's more like, okay, open Blender, try the new thing, and then call it a day. Um, I don't know, what else can I show you that it's been happening? The new status bar is right here at the bottom now. It's, um, it's so work in progress, but it was committed yesterday. It just includes for the time being the um, stats, the statistics, and it shows you the file name and it will show you um, tools when you're moving around. Tools that have like a lot of, usually up until now, some of the tools will have like instructions in the header. Well, we can put them now in the status bar because there's more room there. And also the header can stop flashing so much like often does. So there are so many other things. The team here at the spring are using 2.8 all day. So uh, modifiers are back. That's kind of a big one, but I, I'm not even gonna get there because they're a bit too slow at the moment, but they're working, they're there. The build bot's gonna go up soon, back again. We, we're still moving, that's why the builds are a bit behind from a few days ago or a week ago, um, but they will be up as soon as possible. You could also give it a try to compile your own version of Blender. There is a lot of benefits besides not having to wait for BuildBot. If you compile your own Blender, it's going to be like a more, you can disable things that you don't use. If you don't use cycles, you can just remove cycles if you want to compile it faster. And it's going to be lighter. It's going to be more tailored to your computer. So there are reasons to do it. If not, just wait a little bit more. And uh, I hope you like this kind of format. Uh, it's very, it's, it's, let's try, let's see how it goes. I'll see you again in the next video. Ciao.